Well, it's snowing. As much as I'd rather be at Windrock riding, it's not in the cards today. I need a wheel bearing. So today, we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna do a tool review. Stay tuned while I get out of this weather and get me something to warm up. Hey, so we're gonna do kind of a tool review today. I know that's a bit different. We don't normally do something like that. But when we talk to one of our sponsors and tell them an idea uh, and they run with it, we wanna make sure everybody's aware of it. So uh, I don't think it's any secret that we're not easy on our stuff. If you've seen many of our videos, we're prone to uh, pounding the snot out of our machines. Um, it's, it's it's not uh, riding style as much as it is this, the, the types of trails that we choose to ride and the choices that we make not to winch. Uh, when you make a decision like that, you're going to have uh, more failures, more breakage, and certainly more maintenance. Having said that, um, you'll get an opportunity to see when the video for uh, Hawk Pride comes out, my uh, left front wheel bearing is bad. Um, it's not apparent when you're watching the videos, but you'll see a couple of times that I really smoke some rocks with that side. And at one point, Ryan even says, man, you're lucky you've got special carriers because you know the wheel and the hub took the abuse, not the suspension. It was transferred to there. So uh, I'm going to do this work in my shop. When I'm at my shop, I've got this, you know, it's a, a Harbor Freight kit uh, bearing tool. I don't know, it's 40 bucks, 50 bucks. You get all these pucks. 65 mill millimeter is the right size. It drops right in the hub and you can press the bearing out with your Harbor Freight press, which is what most of us use. Uh, and that's fine when we're in our house, in our shop. But what about when it breaks on the trail? This summer, we were on our way to um, Brushy Mountain Penitentiary for dinner, and Bra uh, Brad uh, had a wheel bearing go bad. And it went bad quick, and it wasn't safe to drive it. So in the parking lot of the Brushy Mountain Penitentiary, we changed his wheel bearing out. And the way we were able to do that is, a couple years ago, Ryan bought a tool that's very similar to this. I bought this one on eBay for 40 bucks. Turns out I don't like it very much, but, but Brian, or rather Ryan had one of these and it worked okay. It's good, it's keyed so that it goes in the hub like that. So you can pound it in with a hammer and you can get the wheel bearing out. And then when you, when it's time to put the wheel bearing back in, you can, if, as you can see here, I'll cover the name of that because I don't want you to buy this one, it's kind of crap. And it mostly, gives you a surface that you're going to be able to hit that back in with. The challenge with something like this is it is difficult to keep straight and to make sure that you're hitting it in the center so that it's not kind of moving all over, which is the problem when we're on the trail. So we told James Shelley about that. I said, look, man, we, uh, we really would like a better wheel bearing tool that we can use on the trail. Certainly we can use it in our shops as well, but can you make something for us? And we gave him, an, gave him the idea. He actually reached out to the person that was making the ones that, that Ryan has. And that guy said, he's not making them anymore. It's cool, do what you want. So James actually came up with this design, which I really prefer. If you look at his, it's got a key in it that fits inside the bearing. So when it's in there, it's not moving around when you're knocking it back in on the trail. It's also set so that it fits inside these rings or these, these pockets so you can evenly pressure the bearing out on the trail. And a nice touch, I think, was this. So you can focus your energy on that and make sure that when you're hammering it in, the pressure is being evenly distributed across the bearing and not blowing the seals out on one side or the other. The same is true when you're pushing it out, however you'd like to, to do that. So we've got the flexibility to do that. Uh, listen, I'm not gonna bore you with knocking my bearing out, okay? Um, replacing a wheel bearing is, is something you should be pretty familiar with if you own a razor, uh, even a Can-Am, you know, they, they are kind of a wear item. Um, 
you're more than welcome to pay the dealer for it. But I'll tell you, you know, these things are like $38 on Rocky Mountain. Um, this is the 18 plus uh, wheel bearing for the turbo razors. It works in most of the 16 and up razors, all four corners. They work really great. They need a couple of pumps of grease, not too bad. So I am going to uh, use the tool. I'm going to hammer my, uh, my bearing out and then I'm going to flip it over. I'll use the tool again to hammer my new bearing in. I'm not even gonna use my press, even though it's just right around the corner. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with James's tool. I'm not likely gonna show you a whole bunch of footage of me hitting it with a hammer. It's kind of stupid, uh, but you can understand how this works. And uh, I'll show you the, uh, the finished product when we're all done, but my, uh, my wheel bearing is complete junk right now. And uh, I need to get it swapped out. So here we go. Okay, it's in there. I'm sure that it's gonna put the pressure evenly on the bearing and knock it out. I've already pulled the snap ring out. This is just a 16 ounce hammer. It's not something big. I can even, even switch to my dead blow. And uh, it makes phenomenal progress. It's, you. Yeah, it's already almost halfway out. Yes, that's fantastic. All right, I'll be right back. nicer than that other one. Damn, it's not even taking a beating. And it's almost out. There it is. There you go. Wheel bearing is out. Man, that works great. So much nicer. All right, time to hit the parts washer and then press in my new bearing. And uh, I will use the tool again to put it in and I'll come back and show you what we're looking at. All right, well, I hit the parts washer. Got all the crap out of it. I got this lined up. And you put it in there, I think. I mean, I could just go use my press, but I think I might as well do the whole thing here. No harm in that. I don't need that open. Unnecessary bang and clang while we're doing this. Wow, that is making a huge difference. Yep, uh, this is definitely a winning tool. They're going in nice and even. The bearing isn't pushing out in the middle. That's actually great to see. Jesus. More than halfway in already. The 16 ounce claw hammer. What the hell? That's great. That is. So much better than trying it with this thing. When I use this thing, I can't really hold it. So it's all over the place while you're hitting it. I don't imagine I'm going to use that again. 
Incidentally, we're gonna give one of these away. So if you've suffered through watching me put a wheel bearing in with a claw hammer, good news. You too could get your very own $85 tool, which is what this costs, which is pretty fair as far as I'm concerned. For $85, you get the right tool. You can absolutely use it in your press. My guess is when Ryan does his video, he'll probably use his press and uh, you get to see it being used in both places. Actually, I might go over there and do that real quick, but there's no harm in using it this way. It works really good. The bearing, as you can see right now, there's only about three eighths of an inch not pressed in, plus down past the uh, snap ring area. But the bearing is not taking a beating like it did with this. So, uh, wow. Good job, James. That is fan-freaking-tastic. Let's try the dead blow for a while. It's almost in. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put it over in the press just to finish it up. There's no point in beating the hell out of it here in the shop assembly table. But uh, I'll get it set up over there and mocked up and uh, set the camera back up and... We'll press it all the way in. All right, I can safely say it took longer to set the camera up than it's going to take to press this bearing in. That's for sure. There you go. Just that simple. So, I definitely think this tool is worth the money. No questions at all. Bearings all the way in. Ready for the snap ring. Tool's in great shape. So, there you have it. A little something different. We don't normally do this, but I thought it was worth the time. We really appreciate James going the extra mile and making this for us, and I really think many of you would appreciate having this in your toolbox on the in your razor. You know, it's very common for Ryan to have uh, one of these tools and two spare wheel bearings in his storage box, and I'm here to tell you now that I have James's tool, I'm going to do the same thing. For $85 for the tool, probably $80 in wheel bearings, you can save a trip. Being able to fix something on the side of the trail. If y'all remember, the first time that Ryan lost a wheel bearing in his 16 Turbo, it went in a bad way. And when it finally came apart, it destroyed the caliper, the rotor, the wheel bearing, the brake lines, the pads, and the axle. So, if you can save having to fix all that, just because you got a few spare parts in your razor and a little bit of time with a claw hammer, I'd do it. So if you want to win one, I'll give you some instructions in just a second. All right. If you want to win one of these, what we'd like you to do, this is a YouTube contest. It's the first time we've done something on YouTube and not Facebook. Number one, if you're a YouTube subscriber, <laughs> go find us on Facebook. There's some great stuff going on over there. But if you'd like to win this tool, not this one. I mean, I've obviously used it, and I'm going to keep it. You can't have it. But we do have a new one that we're going to give away. If you'd like to win it, for a chance, in the comment section, why don't you tell us a horror story about something that didn't go right on the trail and how you were either able to fix it or weren't able to fix it. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a wheel bearing or you had, to, had trouble getting an axle out of the transmission or whatever. Tell us a little short story down there. You don't have to write a couple paragraphs. Just keep it short and sweet. Let us know what you think happened and how, uh, how you'd like to have one of these. After about a week from this video being published, we'll go in there. We will uh, take an inventory of all the people that commented or told stories about uh, the challenges they had. And Ryan will find one of you after uh, we pick a winner from the random generator. All right? 
Thanks to James Shelley for building this for us. Thanks to our awesome fans for following these idiots. I don't understand why we have such a following. We are just morons that beat the living hell out of our machines on the trail. We try to give you an opportunity to see what's out there, what you may or may not be missing, and uh, we really appreciate you. It means a lot. Thanks.